the formidable robot. It's been two weeks, and the web browser issue is still unfixable. Well, we're out of luck, so that part had to be closed down. Even the police's EXE suggestion failed, so we're out of luck permanently. So yeah, you're out of fucking luck Sonic.exe, who's got now? Anyways, in other news, in the HTML code of the website hosting the video, there lies a riddle that me and the group read. Watched the videos. You've got the hint. You'll need to sprint. For the submarine you're looking for, may lead to the doorway of the ARG. Accordingly, the closest submarine was the USS Baton Rouge in Virginia. Fuck, I mean Virginia. With the clues in mind, we gathered our belongings, pieces of the ARG, and traveled from the cozy area of Tennessee, 11C, 12C. Shit, I mean, traveled from the cozy area of Tennessee to Virginia, an eight-hour full drive before arriving at the area where Rouge the Bat, Grrr, I mean the Baton Rouge sat, fuck. Before I get to the ship, there's something I've been thinking of, what's the main cause of the ARG, the black and white pepper land, the backlash? The questions spiraled as I ride behind the ARG's van. All of these clues, these pictures, these videos, they're all connecting to something. We all arrived at the USSR Baton Rouge, looking for the clue. We were close to stopping, until we found a chest in the corner, we asked about it. The guy only said that some guy dropped off a chest, and said that someone was onto him. We took the chest as evidence and went to a nearby rest stop before we looked at the chest. Wow, this is new. It's a yellow chest shaped like the yellow submarine, and the way to unlock was anything but, it was the shape of a car key. The driver of the ARG's cars and vans, Mitchell Farlane, took the van's car key and unlocked the chest. These sentences are so fucking complicated that there were barely any full stops. As it unlocked, the case suddenly flew open. Great, just fucking great. More terabyte drives, and just as we were down to the millisecond of cracking the code, more code spills in, like milk. We extracted the drives and sat them in the back. As we finished the extraction process, we noticed a piece of paper and a picture. Jesus Christ, those are some edgy ass caps right there. The figure watched over us. We shouldn't have made it. And the picture was a close-up of the Nowhere Man. Holy shit, this guy is ghostly pale, his face was sunken in with sunken eyes, crooked sharp teeth, and wearing only a tuxedo. The back of the photo said. The Nowhere Man knows you. Fuck. I've got a headache just staring at the man's face. It's like looking at a bad facial surgery but you can't unsee it. Who is it, lol Tyler1? As we got home with even more evidence than we thought we got, something unexpected happened. One of the drives exploded. Spontaneously, as I might add. Great. Just, great. And it nearly took half of the van with the members of the ARG society with it. We luckily had an ARG society auto shop. We run like the FBI or the police. We have our emergency buildings in case of accidents or work-related injuries. As the van sluggishly parked into the auto shop, everyone evacuated the van and checked each other for injuries. No sign of injuries, only minor burns and cuts. The van damage total? $150. Great, there goes my check, and I'm blamed for this shit. Also, the fucking dollar symbol should be at the beginning of any number. I swear, I'm everyone's tool. Self-loathing aside, we traveled back to the facility and moved on to the recovered terabyte drives from the van. One of the drives was marked, Real Submarine. That's when things took a dark and alarming turn of events. The drive only contained pictures with text saying, Is this you, your group, I know this is you, and the most creepy of them all, I see you Sedgwick. Now I'm panicking. I reported the case to the boss. Code anonymous as we call it. The boss ordered the group on battle station mode until further notice. What the fuck is this, Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Half of the ARG's rookies stepped in front of the warehouse with guns and full SWAT material. I gulped loudly as my fingers violently shook as they typed out an email to Thomas and reported the news. Glad that Thomas took it seriously. He reported that the main area, the ARG Society facility in Pigeon Forge, I've been busy looking at the single text file named, Warning for Fabfucks. 
Sorry, I mean, warning for Fab4, which said. I'm as good as a dead man when the Nowhere Man spots you. Quit while you're ahead. Save yourself. I. Am. God. After an hour of more researching and dead hints so far, it seems as though one of the Beatles members is coming and lewd because John was the one who summoned the Tails doll, uh, I mean, the Nowhere Man. I'm so fucking screwed reading this story. A common question I've been getting is, why isn't this connecting with the Paul is dead theories like in part 1? It's mostly not just the Paul is dead theories. It's also connected with Yellow Submarine and even theorized that the Nowhere Man might just be the infamous Jersey Devil. If this is the case, these evidence pieces could connect into something huge. Besides the ARG, I've been listening on and off on the transcript MP3 files and most are connected to the Nowhere Man. One piece even stated that they're summoning beings from songs that shouldn't be summoned. Everyone knows that, and you got ulterior motives. Jesus, that song is a banger. As much as it sounds insane, it's not far-fetched to say it's highly suspect. I've scavenged through everywhere on the possibilities on the figure, looking through possible cryptids. I even thought of connecting it with Slender Man. Hot hot hot. But one detail in the picture caught me off guard, the one that showed the figure. The skin wasn't gray and defiantly didn't have the original human skin color. It was painted blue, like a smurf, like an avatar, like Ralph Blue Tom, like Mega Mind, oh I don't know, like a blueberry. What the fuck did I just say? A cold chill ran down my back as I uttered the infamous words. The Blue Meanies. These bastards have been featured in the Beatles movie Yellow Submarine, especially the leader, and looking at it now, it looks exactly like him. Yes, fuck the Blue Meanies. But the question is, why does he look ghostly pale? I looked through every frame of the movie and the ARG's videos over and over again. And yet again, still came across another brick wall, as in Pink Floyd's The Wall. I've been so sleep deprived, most of my words are being auto-corrected and now I'm gonna lose it. I'll talk later. I'm getting really tired and it's getting close to closing time. My brain is fucking rotting right now. Please help me.